Emer, the biggest story of mm. this week has to be the the launch of a murder investigation in Drogheda, County mm. Louth, and it's it's around the sort of the disappearance of a young child. Now we have to be really careful in what we say, mm. but we're going <clears> to <throat> try our best to describe what's happened and and what's going to happen going forward. Yeah, because yeah, obviously there's a lot of legal. Um, reasons for not going into things but it, you can't get away that it's the biggest story of this week because mm. it's so shocking that an eight-year-old boy is missing presumed dead it's very rare for Gardaí to actually presume to launch a murder investigation when there's been no body found they've only done it in cases of you know missing women who are missing for a long long time and yeah it's presume taken murder. ages to launch the murder inquiries yeah, yeah. It, it could be like it's usually an anniversary and I, I think in the case of Deirdre Jacob but it was the 20th it was a long long time yeah. Um. so yeah, it is very rare for them to do this but obviously they have reasons nothing has been made clear about these specific reasons and obviously there's things we can say but essentially there was a missing person report filed in August for Kieran Dern and he's an eight-year-old boy um, for, they live very close to Drogheda town and it was believed that there had been a sighting two days previous to that but Gardy have been investigating since then and they've now come to the conclusion that he hadn't been actually sighted in this year that's what you know what um, mm. sources are saying that he potentially has been dead for months right. so you know and that's what they've they've obviously they, they think they have very specific information that's what we're reporting today to believe that he is dead but they also don't have any whereabouts about the body or anything like that and they haven't there's, in the statement yesterday they didn't rule out an accidental death either so it is quite confusing for us yeah, as well yeah. never mind you know for so this child it. grew up in Drogheda Yes, yeah. Um, so he is an eight-year-old boy. He grew, he's ble- well, as far as we know, he grew up in Drogheda, um, and you know he has been last seen. We thought initially in August when the initial mm-hmm. missing reporting pa- case was filed, and now it's believed that that this is not the case. The Gardaí um, locals told uh, told us this week that you know Gardaí had been around in recent weeks asking you know if they had seen the boy, if gra- if grandchildren were playing with the boy. So so. How do the Guardi handle this? Have they made appeals? So let's let's take it, okay? Mm. So this is a missing child. They yeah. have no body. So what they will need to do is now work backwards to try and find out yeah. when he was last physically seen, where. Exactly. And they have said that, that they haven't, you know, it's been said that they have come to the conclusion that he hasn't been seen for a long time, for months, mm. despite um, initial belief that he had been seen recently before he was reported missing. So they've obviously used that, but they also have specific information. We don't, we can't say what that information is yeah. to, you know, to, to suggest that they believe, obviously, as we said, they don't do this lightly, that the child is presumed dead. But I guess they've issued an appeal for information. I was talking to a detective today. Yeah. Just to sort of ask mm. hypothetically how you'd handle this situation. Yeah. And um, they said basically that you would have to draw up a timeline. Mm. So there there will be, say, going back to 2022 when they have the last official sighting mm-hmm. so far. Yeah. Now, there could have been sightings since then, mm-hmm. but they will have to draw up a timeline geographically and try and approach where he should have been, I suppose, during yeah. those periods of time Mm -hmm. what addresses he should have been living in and they have to go basically and investigate around them speak to neighbours speak to anybody within those locations to suggest you know was it him was he seen Mm -hmm. and once they've that timeline sort of as close as possible then they would be sort of focused on a particular geographical area but until they get to that point yeah and it doesn't seem like they have wide. got to that point and mm. i suppose the the statement was an issue, was it is unusual yesterday because they said that they've conducted cons- extensive inquiries since the boy was reported missing but they've been able to either locate him, any information on his current whereabouts or, ev- or evidence that he's currently alive. So the f- your first logical conclusion is you've no evidence of his current whereabouts, but you somehow have been able to launch a murder investigation. Mm. So, you know, how they got to that does pose a lot of questions, but we do believe that they have specific information that the child is dead and that's why they launched a murder investigation. And I suppose that, um, as we know, that also gives them more resources when you launch a murder investigation, you have more guardy. Um, you know, involved in the case and all and that Tussler kind of thing. And Tussler also involved with And this. Tussler also involved as well. And I suppose it brings up lots of questions as well about, you know, had the child been seen in school? I think if it's, if there's 20 days where a child is not attended school, that becomes a, a legal issue and all, all those mm. kind of questions. And 
um, you know, this will be something that the guards are obviously looking into as well. Um, they said that they're working closely with Tusla and they've also, you know, appealed to anybody that might have information about his whereabouts that may have a sighting that they haven't come forward with yet to, to come forward. And the picture of the poor little child in his Spider-Man hoodie and yeah. cute little child, God love him. Yeah. So look, there's going to be far more information on this over the coming days and weeks. So we will definitely report back with it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's an awful situation. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks, I'm Nicola Talent and you're watching Crime World, a podcast about criminals, drugs and the underworld in Ireland and across the globe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can be the first to watch all our latest episodes. You can also listen wherever you get your podcasts.